Way number 47 on how to pass the physics regents. When it comes to electrical energy or work, there are many different ways to go about calculating it, so you might want to pay attention to the units. So not only is the volt coulomb or coulomb volt equivalent to one joule, the watt second is also a unit of energy. Let's see if you can figure out which formula to use in this next question from the June 2009 physics regents. For starters, they do ask what is the total electrical energy, but then they also mention the 100 watt lamp, which is the unit for power, so we'll put that value down. And since that is the only formula containing power, we'll need time in seconds as well, which in this case is 60 seconds. Without needing to use the 120 volts in this equation, multiplying the watts by the seconds will get you 6,000 joules, which is 6 times 10 to the third joules in scientific notation. In this next question, from the June 2011 physics regents, not only do they ask about total energy again, but this time they give you seconds, ohms, and amps, which calls for the use of this formula. The time is 10 seconds, the resistance is 4 ohms, and the current is 0.5 amps, which needs to be squared. After multiplying your numbers together, you should get 10 joules as your answer. In this final question from the June 2010 physics regents, they mention volts, amps, ohms, and seconds. That means that no matter which formula you decide to go with, the total amount of heat energy will work out to the same exact answer. Now, if you found that video helpful, please like it or give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you can get all the other videos that I upload. And finally, get the free study guide for 70 ways to pass the physics regions by heading over to physicsvideotutor.com.